Hey everyone, are you a noob at redstone? Do you find that when you build AND gates, they're big and bulky and take up lots and lots of redstone? Do you also find that you, you have to suffer aesthetically displeasing one block between all the levers when you're building combination locks? Well, fear no more. I bring you the 30 second combo lock. First, we shall have a demonstration right here, and the password is the second and fourth one, <coughs> and the check button, as you can see the door opens. Uh, no other combination is possible, if I just click this one, it won't open, if I click one of these, it won't open, but yeah, um, if you are actually a redstone noob and you don't actually understand this, how this works, basically, these are all AND gates right here. Uh, an AND gate is a device that lots of people use in combo locks. So what they do is they do something like this, which is actually quite bulky, and then <coughs> placed, placed one block apart like this. When both of them are powered, this will power right here. Doesn't work if one of them is powered or the other one is powered or both are unpowered, only when they're both powered this work. What you can do here is you can actually in invert the input so <clears throat> so that's on you want this powered and that'll be on. Uh, this has to be on uh, off and this has to be on. No other combination will lock work and yeah so that's how <clears throat> that's the basic concept between most people's simple combination locks and yeah so right here basically we have uh, four AND gates, two connecting these two, two uh, oh, one connecting these two, one connecting these two, these two being connected together, the master AND gate connected with the button, and which leads to the door. So, uh, observe what happens when I do this. <coughs> All the inputs are on, these turn off, this turns on, this turns off, on, and then as soon as I press the check button, it will power. So, yes, obviously you are very annoyed with this AND gate right here, and you want a better one. So, here is the 5 second, not really, 30 second solution. Okay, what you want to do is you want to start placing your blocks like this, and then place all your levers on top, <coughs> and then make a little... Uh, stone thing here which will yeah this isn't gonna be exactly 30 seconds but I don't care so I'm gonna have the bottom slightly separate just to make it look kinda cool um uh torch door and that is about it uh, yes I have got the wiring right so basically this is also an AND gate, uh, as soon as I insert a button, works the, exactly the same as the other one, as you can see, no other combination works. Basically what I'm doing is instead of connecting all four into separate AND gates, I'm connecting them all into one big AND gate. So. Uh, <coughs> Uh, basically, what we're having here is, like, um, when, okay, I'm just going to replace this button with a lever for a second. So, pretend that time has frozen while I have pulled this, uh, pressed this button. <clears throat> so, uh, what, so what happens is that if I configure any of these levers right now, it will turn one of these inputs on. So, if I flick this one, this will turn on, which will lead to keep on going. And if I flick this one, it will turn on and etc. So, only when I have them all off like this, will I have the, them all off right here. If I flick one of them, <coughs> it automatically powers and disrupts the signal. Uh, this is the only combination in which all of these are off. So, but however, we want to detect we want the output to be on, so basically all we're going to do is you put an inverter here. So, um, 
So when you flick one of these, yeah, that's a wrong one. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, so when you turn it, o when they're all off, this will turn on. If any one of these are on, as I stated before, I'm gonna turn them all on for the sake of it. Um, then this will turn off, and yeah, so. So yeah, this is a very compact, survival-friendly redstone combination lock. Uh, thing about this is you can extend it as much as you want, like quite easily. Um, yeah. By the way, when I say survival-friendly, I don't mean the um, I don't mean the blocks of emerald. That's just for decoration. So you can extend this as much as you want. Da da da, and. When I do this, they're gonna exclaim, Oh, go Mango999, you fool. If you actually do this design right here, as I'm gonna show you, then the redstone signal will run out and stuff, 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 I don't care. So, um, basically, <coughs> for example, uh, uh, as I'm gonna show you right now, if this, okay, I'm gonna set the right combination for now. So, um, if this is on, it won't actually affect this torch right here. So, from about here on somewhere, it doesn't matter how much you flick, flick this, it won't affect it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to make a repeater type thing. It's, it's going to have to be special, and I hope I remember how to do this. So, you go like this, repeater there. Uh, no, that's not right. There we go. So you do, you like make this right here. So, um, this will actually go to this repeater and then down here to there. Uh, the thing before, you might be wondering why I didn't just put a repeater right here. Well, what happens if you connect a repeater to itself and then power it? What happens is that it creates basically one-way RS null latch. Um, it's gonna stay on forever unless you break one of the redstones. So yeah, this is obviously a problem. I can't just delete this redstone because then this block, the lever on this block, won't work. So <clears throat> you can have a little thing going here. If you want, you can like wire something s special like this. I don't know. Um, yeah, that'll work, I think. I haven't actually tested that yet, but... So, yeah, just place your levers. Um, I want this. This. Actually, this won't actually work. Never mind. Forget I ever said that. Like, erase it from your memory. I, I never said that in my whole life. I don't know what you're talking about. So, <clears throat> yeah, so now the combination... You have to flick this this and that's it so um yeah this this is a really compact easy survival friendly minus the diamond and emerald blocks way to make a combination lock and obviously it's a significant improvement in redstone to this and so yeah thanks for watching peoples i hope I, you have learned something new for your New combo lock that you shall be installing in your house, otherwise I will go to your home and kill you because I know where you live. Bye.